Okay, guys, we were out. We're out in the four wheeler. Uh, just riding because Robin's off for today. Look there, Robin. There's a big path that goes right up through there. I didn't notice that. Mm -hmm. Anyways, what I'm going to show you is we just as we hit this mud hole, I noticed this big track right here, and it looked like what would be a Bigfoot track. And I just now, by looking over here, I see there's a big path here, so I'm going to walk over and look. I mean, it could possibly be a bare double step, and this could probably be some kind of a... Uh, but man, something is burning it up through here. You can see whatever it is is going right through the mud. You can see slip marks right there. And it's going right out through here. Man, I don't know what it might be though. It's either a bear or a Bigfoot, but you can see it's got it muddy way over in there. Why would it be in the mud? Why would it just walk through that mud instead of going around it? It don't make sense. Somebody, it's burned up. Let's see right there, and that's a big old, you see that's a big slide track right there too. So you can't see no definition in it. If that's a bear, it's a big one. <sighs> you can see it goes right over down through that way, which I can drive out to there if I'm not mistaken. But I wished I could have seen that before I hit the mud hole. <clears throat> but whatever it is, it's large, whether it be a bear or a, or a Bigfoot. I'm going to circle back around and show you that track one more time. <clears throat> and we've not been up here. I've not been up here. Last time I was up here was with Lou. And that's been about two years ago. I think. You can see. I wore a 12, so. Uh, that's good. That's a good 14, 15 inch track. And I do keep hearing something down in there, but not sure what, if it's just bird or rabbit or what. Well, that's interesting find, so I'm gonna go ahead and ride on around and keep my eyes peeled for maybe something else. Okay, guys, we're up here. We're on the cardinal side of the mountain. Uh, I was gonna let you see all these. I see all these berries right in here. These are blackberries, wild blackberries. Some of them are starting to turn ripe. Uh, one of them actually fell in the four-wheeler and I ate it. It's good, nice and sweet. See, there's all kinds of them up here. Uh, I'm sure somebody will come and get them for long. And there was a bunch more back that way than we come through them too. But yeah, we're under the, uh, we're under the towers, or under the wire lines that lead to these towers. Let me walk on over here and I'll show you some more stuff. So there's even some small blackberry bushes here. There's a few. Over this way, it's a real snaky type area too. On the side of the mountain, so you have to be a little extra careful. Uh, I don't know if you can see the road down there. That's 119 Road, looking toward Pineville and Tanyard Hill. That would probably be that's not hardly Tanyard Hill. Turner Hill would be over top of this knob here. You couldn't see it. That there's around about where the old Black Knot School and stuff like that is. But beautiful up here, it's kind of quiet. You can hear, you know, a little bit of traffic off in the distance. There goes a big, uh, big turkey vulture. You see him or not? Let's see if we can get him, see? Big turkey vulture going through there. But uh, that, that uh, where I thought was a track and then you had all that where something had been walking through there in the mud, that actually comes circled right around in this way. There's a pond right here on the outside. We took a few pictures of it. But we're gonna go on, continue our ride. Uh oh, hey Rob, here's not blackberry fell in here. I'm going to. Let's see, Let's see if we can get it. Another blackberry fell in the thing. <laughs> and down the hatch it goes. We're good. Alright, here we go.